Gabby O'Sullivan, a, a last quarter surge there by Freo. How do you feel right now? Oh, just elated. You know, we, we, we pulled together in that in that last quarter to, to get over the top um, of the doggies and we knew that we had it in us. It was just when we were, we were going to pounce. Was that the message at three-quarter time, just to hang in there and stick to the plan? Yeah, just to, to be resilient and keep working hard, um, playing with a bit of grit. Because, um, you know, with all the happenings of the week, we weren't sure if this could be our last time. So uh, just we stuck with it and pulled through. How are the conditions today? It looked a bit, um, a bit cold out there. Ebony Antonio said at halftime it was a bit chilly out there. How did you find that? Yeah, it was weird. Um, but I guess we're used to playing in the cold with um, waffle football, but it was a bit chilly and then the wind started to pick up um, as the game went on. But, um, you know, if, you, if you're if running around, you're staying there. So that's what we're trying to do. And no crowds, obviously, um, due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, how was that playing in front of an empty crowd? It probably worked in our favour being in a low game because um, the doggies always have a really good supporters base. We did have a few of um, family members in the crowd, so that was good to see them. But we, we generate our own um, vitamin energy, so that's the best thing about us. And, um, you know, it, it was a bit strange, but we, uh, we cheat for ourselves. Who were a couple of your best ons today, Gabby? Who impressed you? Uh, Turbo definitely in the in the first quarter. She was laying tackles as she does left, right, and centre. Um, Haley Miller in that third really generated a bit of run for us, and then KJ to finish it kind of set the tone for the the rest of the game. And um, I think that's how we're able to get over the top. But it was a really good spread from everyone, I think. Laura Pugh kicked her first AFLW goal today. It seems like we've been waiting for the last couple of weeks for her to get one through the big six. Um, was that a good celebration after that one? Oh, absolutely. I thought we thought she was going to get one in the first. And um, I think I gave her the ball in that in that first one after she um, tackled whoever it was for holding the ball and gave her a bit of a smile. But um, the goal that she did kick was probably the, the hard one and um, it's the easy. But that's okay. We, we love Pugh and, um, yeah, we all got around her when she kicked that one. And um, a bit more on Ebony Antonio. Her and yourself seem to step up, especially in that second half, and really drive the team. Um, how did you find Ebony today? And she really seemed to lead from the front. Eb's always seems to find a, um, you know, a, another gear when you when you think um, we might be done. So Eb's always seems to raise the bar and uh, lift the standard, which makes everyone else um, come up to her level. Been playing with Eb's for a long time, so I, I know what she's uh, what she's got in her and. She's super athletic and just seems to find a way somehow. Six on the trot now and back home against Melbourne next week. How will we be looking to prepare for that one? Yeah, Melbourne's a strong team and um, obviously they've, they've done a bit of travel at Alice and now now to Perth, so we'll look to capitalise uh, on some of that. But we know if we just play you know, the game that we, we can play that's fast and free-flowing, that um, we should be right and we'll hang with any team.